Welcome to Science Lab with Mrs. Keener. Hi everyone. Today we're going to use some things from around the house to show how mountains can form and how they can change over time. And we're going to need several towels or sheets or blankets, something thin and flat that we can stack up. I'm going to use towels. First, lay down one layer and we're going to pretend that this is a layer of stuff that settled at the bottom of the oceans that covered the surface of the earth many, many millions of years ago, prehistoric times. So there were prehistoric fish and other ocean animals living in the oceans. And as they died and their food died and plants died and little bits of dirt and whatever, all kinds of things settled down to the bottom of this, to the bottom of the ocean. And they formed a layer that eventually became a layer of rock. I'm gonna use this blue towel to remind me that this layer came from under the ocean. And I'm gonna add some little toys to remind me that, these, uh, that this layer came from the bottom of the ocean. I don't have any prehistoric fish, but I'm gonna use these whales and this thing that looks kind of like an octopus. And I'm also gonna add a can of fish, a can of sardines. Next, we're gonna add some more layers. So let's imagine that millions of years went by and more layers accumulated, and these turned into rock. And depending on the conditions, they turned into different kinds of rocks. So they're different layers. The oldest ones are down at the bottom, and the newer ones are up at the top. I'm going to put green on top to look like grass and trees. Now imagine the tectonic plates smushed together. Oh no, there isn't enough room. So it all gets squished and wrinkled. This is one way that mountains formed. They're called fold mountains. Now I laid my uh, towels down folding in quarters, but I'm gonna change it around a little bit now. I'm gonna make my layers thinner. So now my towel is only folded in half. Put down my ocean animals. Millions of years go by. Another layer of rock is formed. Top layer to remind me of grass. And now when I squish them together, the mountains might look a little bit different. So try it both ways. Try with thick layers and with thinner layers. And try it a couple times. You might see different kinds of mountains getting formed. Next, we're gonna show how mountains can change over time. And we need two piles now. I'm gonna have mine matching, but yours don't have to match. Maybe yours came from some fault line where different layers of rock were near each other, whatever just some kind of colorful layers. And again, I'm using towels, but you could use other things. You could use sheets, blankets, colored paper, whatever you have. So millions and millions of years go by. Oops, forgot to put my ocean animals in. Let's tuck them in on top of the ocean layer. More millions of years go by, more layers form on top. Sometimes they're pretty flat, sometimes they're not, depending on what was going on. Maybe the tectonic plates were sliding around and so they're not as even. I like to put green on top. Okay, so again, tectonic plates move, fold mountains are formed. Now this time, let's show what happens when erosion happens. So imagine rain and snow and wind eventually wore away the rocks at the top of our mountains. So they actually kind of got washed away and, and taken away by bits of rain. 
So if this happens over a long period of time, if the top rock gets worn away, you can actually find a mountain with the lowest part, the oldest part exposed. So you can find mountaintops that have fossils of prehistoric ocean animals in them. Now I want you to take some pictures or show, take some video, show me some fold mountains that you made, share in Flipgrid. I also have a, a question for you. How can you use these Tal Mountains to show how volcanoes form? Can you figure out how to do that with your layers? Take pictures or video and share them in Flipgrid.